Bradenton we go. Thankfully, Bronte's gonna bring me some coffee and food so I can just go to the track and start diagnosing this problem. But I do feel like I'm currently dying, so that's terrible. Like, I feel like, I guess a lot of people are in my same boat today, but man, I am feeling it. It was a long night of stress and struggle. Not being able to see was not easy. I didn't like it. I don't like not being able to see on the dark back roads. Not fun. I don't know what I talked about at the end of the last video. I just left it in because I'm an idiot and it was late in my editing. I didn't even put an outro in the video you guys saw today that went up. But I'm talking to you from the past. So I could already be dead. Could have already blown up chip, fixed it, and blown it up again in the time it took for you guys to get this footage. It's crazy how science works. Is it? Is there, it is recording. No, you're good. Don't touch it. Okay. All right, guys. We are here at Bradenton. I got sketchy behind the camera. We have been fighting issues all day with electrical, and I finally found them. This is a 240 move right here, and I rubbed through the um, the wiring harness. So I got butt connectors. I'm just gonna butt connect them, and then um, these two right here. But those aren't arcing yet. But they're gonna. I'm just gonna butt connect them, and then um, this main one ripped out, and it needs to be glued back into here. Yeah. So. Once we fix that, we should be back in business. Maybe back in business. my window will go up and down. Yeah, we can uh, undo everything that we did earlier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, talk about chasing your tail. Oh, dude. Good job, though. We're in it. We're still in it, Coop. We're still in it. Oh, yeah. My blinker won't stop blinking. She's blinking. Well, blinker won't stop blinkinating. And it's frustrating. Why is it not turning off? We'll figure it out. The key doesn't even work anymore because we were troubleshooting stuff. It's like, it's now this thing. We hot wired it. I had to hot wire the car, all kinds of things, at a 7 Eleven parking lot at one in the morning, an hour away from home, an unrunning car. Thankfully, Doug Cook and Motion Raceworks were there to, uh, first they supplied me dinner, which was cool, so it felt good to, uh, get dinner on the Motion Raceworks card, you know, please McFarlane. <laughs> I told Garrett this morning, I was like, guess what, dude, you bought me a steak last night. <laughs> Thanks, team. And, and I splurged. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was, I was really not that hungry. <laughs> but yeah, so we went to Longhorn last night and then we were like, we got plenty of time. Boom, life humbles you. <laughs> but it was still a good deal, so. Well, once you get there today, you, this is your longest day. This is your longest day. Oh, don't so say that. You never know. No, I'm saying once you get through this, like, you'll be good. Uh, hopefully. But you never and know. You will. You got this. Yeah, I mean, there's really only one option. Either I die right here or I make it through the whole week. I mean, if I didn't die last night driving with no lights in the pitch black. You can do anything. I was, like, bouncing off the ditch. I was like, dink and then bounce off the other lane, and then bounce off the ditch again, and then like the carbon monoxide poisoning started to hit a little bit. <laughs> I'll film Sketchy once he's got carbon monoxide poisoning. It's fun, it's like, it's like, woohoo, this is the car guy, hi, woohoo. Man, he makes you feel less stupid for doing this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm done ranting. Five. 
Nice. I'm trying to go for a 10.23. 10. So, I mean, that's so good. So, I'm very though, good on my average. Yeah. Real quick how the dial your own index class works. So I picked my first number basically by running a pass on day one and then you try to match that every time and get as close as you can to that so you have an average that is as close to your first day as possible. And unfortunately um, the way that that class works is if your reaction time is over one second, they add everything past the one second. So today I I made a pass that was 10.265. Yesterday was 10.232 or something. So very close. But my reaction time was one second 0.042. So they added that. So it was a 10.307. So I shot myself in the foot there. I don't know why I was slowing the tree. I was just not paying attention to it because it's not heads up racing. This is index racing. It doesn't matter. Um, but unfortunately, I shot myself in the foot. So hopefully we can come back around. All right, well, we've only been in the car for about maybe an hour and we already ran out of gas. Sketchy's first time driving, riding in it. Five and miles and we ran out of gas, was it? What? Was it five miles and we ran out of gas? Yeah, no, we probably went a little further. 10 miles? That. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we ran out of gas, but. <laughs> Some nice other sick week feller helped us out. Yes, sir. And we got, you know, filled with gas and then I have five gallons on the roof, so we can't really run out. We would always have five gallon backup. Um, so that's the goal. And uh, now we're cruising up 301 instead of taking the interstate. So today's route, they say you can take any route of your choice. So if you have a car that can cruise down I-75, go do it. If you have a car that, you know, you, is it really a highway cruiser like mine? Maybe take the back roads? Take the back roads like we're doing, so. Yeah. And it's, it's prettier that way. Yeah, it's a little more drag and drive, I think, on the back roads. Yep. Highways are a little meh. I always take that highway. Right. It's nothing to see. Nope. Here, at least, like, if you do have a breakdown, you, like, pull over somewhere that can actually help you, potentially. <laughs> like, my elbow that, shift. That was really talented. <laughs> I used to do it when I drive stick ship. <laughs> in my CTS, yeah, you said elbow ship. I'd be on the phone and I would just like, boop. That's, that, was, that, was, that was skillful, I'm gonna say. That was good. You should see me in the Camaro at 150. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're cruising. I'm gonna get so wrecked with the sunburn here, but it is what it is. I'll die. I'll die of uh, skin cancer honorably. Maybe when you're 80, 85. Yep. Okay, so we're currently sitting on the side of 301, which is much better than sitting on the side of I-75. Good point. And um, I think the fuel in my fuel rails is getting so hot that it's vapor locking. And I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> do we have some ice? <laughs> I don't have any ice. I need to like figure out how to vent the hood a little better or something. It's just getting so hot under there and it's so hot out that it's just... That's my theory, at least. It's, a, it's the best one we got in the car at the moment. I think that if we can just take the hood off. I know. This has been a stop and go deal so far. I am just begging for that sun to go down. We have a few more hours before it goes down though. We are, our fuel pressure issue is serious. Our fuel is just boiling and the vapors are hydro lock are vapor locking the rail so badly that it just drops all fuel pressure and then it takes a while to start up also so that's cool um yeah so fun stuff <laughs> okay so i have a solution tractor supply shout out to them awesome company they should sponsor me because i shop there all the time well that's probably a better reason to sponsor me then because i already give them a lot of money but um yeah, so I'm gonna use this bucket right here, and then I got two ratchet straps, so I'm gonna try to ratchet strap the hood down, and we're not gonna go that fast, we're just gonna kinda cruise at like 40 miles an hour, so I think two ratchet straps can hold the hood down, but we will know um, as we do it. Um, I, think, I think this might work, Sketch. I think this might work. It might work. Uh... So it'll, the goal is obviously more airflow, so if we could just get more airflow to everything here, 
um, we can keep it much cooler. More airflow to better. Yeah, that's, that's and right. the sun is coming down, so it's looking pretty good out here. I think we might get lucky. Once the once the sun goes down, I mean, we'll, we'll be straight cruising. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then till the kill time, we bought this uh, RC airplane. Do you think these conditions Lots. are okay for it? I mean, look at that fan yeah, over there. I think so. <laughs> that thing's gonna go. We might lose it. That thing's gonna go farther than we've gone in this thing. <laughs> All right, what do you think of that? That dude, that is that is legit. Yeah, I mean that's like, pretty solid. We we got it from the sides. Some, you know, it's not gonna go. The bucket seems pretty solid in there. Only thing is, it won't blow in, right? I don't think that's gonna blow no, in. No, I don't think so. That's Because pretty... also this is here. Yep. So that's gonna stop up. that. Okay. And it's kind of hooked. No, we. I think we got this. It's sturdy. Two. It's yeah. Up. We got plenty of airflow now. Yeah, that should help a lot with airflow. And you can. The biggest thing is you can see, right? I like can see. There, I can see so. perfectly fine. Panda Express right there. Yeah, let this thing cool off. Yep. Let the sun come down a little bit. Let traffic subside a little yep. bit. Sit in Panda Express. Maybe wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yours are yours are a lot dirty. Who's been doing more work here? Driver, dude, okay. you're you're the crew. You're supposed, you're the crew band. <laughs> I, I you're I, supposed to be the dirty hands. I wash my hands with the ice water. Here, this is always a good representation. So now yeah. when I take my ring off, <laughs> oh, I like your ring. Is that your navy blue? That's cool. Is okay, that, that's a. Uh, Let's leave this thing here to cool off, yeah, and um, we'll be back in a little while for you. Should we blow the horn? I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's not on. Okay, let's go get some Panda Express. I want a fortune. We need fortune cookies. Oh, you're right. We have those. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me put this all away. It is seven o'clock in the middle of absolute nowhere. Nowhere. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> and we're stuck in stop and go traffic at seven o'clock. And my hood is still up on the uh, bucket, the old bucket hood trick. Yeah, this is insane. It's insane. We're Dude, there's people camping around us. I'm pissed. This is, this is wild. Who invented traffic in the middle of nowhere? Florida did. <laughs> yeah. Come on. The U-Haul in front of us is just a classic representation of Florida. That's also not a sick weaker. That's a that's just a U-Haul. Like we could take I-75, but I'm trying to avoid the highway so I don't have to cruise at 65 miles an hour the whole way and blow my car up. I'm trying to impress Sketchy. I I'm impressed guys, I'm impressed. Chip's doing an awesome job. We just yeah, had to pull over deal. a few times, but yeah, you know. It's, it's cool now, so now we just have to cruise. We should have taken a nap. Yes, we could, we could have taken a nap at the Panda. Yeah, at the Panda Express. At the Panda Express, we could have taken a nap there. Yeah, this sucks. All right, I'll see you guys <laughs> later when I'm complaining about something else. <laughs> hey, yeah, Honda, 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 Honda. Hey, you made it! How did she do? Doing good. Cruising right along. Nice. Yeah, we would have been way faster, but we kept vapor locking our our um, fuel rails. Oh, that's no good. So it would just like stop and drop fuel pressure, and then you oh, we would just have to wait. So we just like literally waited it out for like an hour. Oh, <laughs> waited out the heat well. and the traffic. Yeah, now it's good. We made a pit stop at the house, and we got some slips now. You're loaded down back there. We got we got slicks and an electric scooter now. Oh dang! We're ready to rip now. Oh, spicy. They were a couple days late. I overnighted them and they didn't come for three days. Dang, from Japan? Yeah, they were a little late. Look at this lineup. Bunch of hooligans. And the V Volvo. <laughs> Super sick. If only there was a photographer here. Not just a bunch of guys with iPhones that don't know what they're doing. All right, we made it to the hotel. Gotta love that, look at the javelins in there, the big tires, super sick. You know it's a sick week or a race week when it's looking like this. That was a long, like, I don't know, six hours it took us to get here but we're here we made it to uh georgia so i'm gonna go in edit and um we can get back to racing tomorrow so that'll do it guys thanks for watching keep it awesome see you next time